Hi all, this is Yunus. Welcome to my channel. This is a short video about the basic setup of AWS CLI, especially how do we configure our credentials as part of AWS CLI setup and how do we retrieve our access key ID and secret access key from the IAM page. So let's begin. I have already launched an EC2 and I want to start using CLI commands from this EC2. So let me see if CLI is already installed in this. You can do that by doing AWS version and it says it is not found. So first thing is I have to install it in this EC2. How do I do that? You can actually use apt repository. First you do sudo apt update minus five. With this command, you are updating the apt repository so that it will download the latest software packages from the respective locations. Once you do that, using apt command, you can install AWS CLI. Let's see that. Okay, that step is done. Now install AWS CLI by issuing this command sudo apt install AWS CLI minus y. We are specifying minus y so that it will not ask for confirmation when it starts running. So it is installing AWS CLI. Okay, AWS CLI is installed. To check that, reissue the previous command, AWS version, and it will show you the latest version which is installed. Okay, now I'm trying to list my S3 buckets using a CLI command. Let us see if it will be successful. AWS S3 LS. No, it is not successful. It says you haven't provided your credentials. So I need to provide my access key ID and secret access key. But from where will I get my access key ID and secret access key? For that, you have to go to your IAM console. So I'm in my accounts IAM console. So here, click on dashboard. Okay, we are already in dashboard. So come down, come down. Under quick links, you will see my security credentials. Click on that. So here you are in my security credentials. Click on AWS IAM credentials and then come down to access keys. I have already created two pairs of access keys. I need to delete one of them so that I can show you how to create a new one. Delete, deactivate and I have to copy this and paste it and say delete. So here now I can create one pair of access keys which will give me one access key ID and corresponding secret access key. So click on create access key and you can say I want to use it in CLI that is okay. Come down. I understand the above recommendation and want to proceed to create an access key. It is recommending something that's okay you can leave that. Click on next. Description tag I will just say training create access key. So it has created access key and secret access key. It's a pair basically. You can click on show. What you can do is you can actually download it as a CSV file so that anytime you can access it because once you go away from this page, you will not be able to see the secret access key on this page again. So I have already downloaded it, but right now I'm going to copy it directly from this page. So what do I need to do? I have to configure my credentials using this access key ID and secret access key. So come here, just do AWS configure. It will ask for access key ID. So go back and get the access key. Paste. Again, go back for secret access key. Yes, go back, paste. Then it will ask for your default region name. You can specify it or you can decide not to specify it also. If you specify it, then by default, all the commands will take the region name as whatever you have specified. So I can give here US East 1, but you can leave it also. And it is asking default output format, whether you want it in JSON, text, etc. I just leave it. Okay, now again, let me try to issue the previous command, AWS S3 LS. This time it should not give me any error. It should list all the buckets. Yes, it is listing all the buckets. Now let me try to create a new bucket using CLA command, AWS S3 MB and then you have to use the command in this format S3 and then give a unique name. To make it unique, maybe you can include your first name or last name plus some random number, etc. I'm going to give a name, Yunus S3 bucket for training. Yes, it is created. If you do AWS S3 LS, it should list this bucket name. You can see this bucket name here three bucket for training. 
now if you want to remove this bucket you can issue this command aws s3 rb s3 minus s3 bucket for training yes that bucket is removed if you do aws s3 ls again you will not be able to see that particular bucket at the second last position so you can see that that bucket is removed okay so that was a simple beginner level exercise i'll keep coming back with useful videos please consider subscribing to this channel thank you bye